Hello there. Text fills are a great way to engage your visitors and add a playful and memorable effect to your page. Today, we are going to create together a colourful and eye-catching background gradient and add it to our header for visual interest that can be personalised and varied ad infinitum. Afterwards, we will add a background image to our header in the same way. First, let's create the header background gradient effect. Select the header, open the Design tab and in the Background tab, open the Colors tab. Open the Background Color Picker and open the Gradient tab. Add the number of stops you require for your gradient. In this example, we will add three stops, which means that three different colors will make up the gradient. Set the stops to the colors you require. Now we want to clip the gradient to the text. To do this, open the Styling tab, set Clip to Text, which will set the limits of the gradient you have created to the heading itself. Now we need to make the heading transparent so that we can see the gradient effect. With the heading selected, open the Typography tab and set Text to Transparent. As if by magic, the gradient effect is now visible. Of course, you can fine-tune it by returning to the Background tab and playing around with the gradient to find exactly the effect you want. You can explore Linear, Radial and Conic orientations to change the colour transitions. Or you may want to flip the colours to have a mirror gradient. Everything is available to make sure you find exactly the effect you require. Now, let's add an image background to our header to create a unique and eye-catching effect. With the heading selected, open the Designs tab, the Background tab and the Source tab. Set Type to Image, set Source to Static and select the URL for the image you wish to add. Now we want to clip the image to the text. To do this, open the Styling tab. Set Clip to Text, which will set the limits of the image you have added to the heading itself. Now, in the Typography tab, set Text to Transparent. And there you are. Your image appears in the background of your heading text. Now, to fine-tune the effect, return to the Background tab and open the Sizing and Position tab. Choose the size and position you want to create the best effect. It's up to you. I hope you have enjoyed this glimpse into how to add life and interest to a heading.